What's up folks? Welcome back to another Beaumont Guitars video. Today we are doing this very special Ibanez TS9 40th Anniversary Tube Screamer. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Nick, that's the wrong color. They're supposed to be green. Well, I'm here today to tell you that this is in fact not green. This is a super, super cool polished red limited edition TS9. <laughs> So what's different about this than any other TS9? Well, frankly, um, nothing except the color, but that's a huge deal because green and screamers always go together forever and ever and ever, right? Anything that's trying to be a screamer will be green. Anything that is a screamer will be a shade of green. This is a big departure. Now, is it that big of a departure? Not really, but this is something you don't see a lot. Everything is the way it normally is in terms of knobs and functionality. So there is a drive knob, a tone knob, and a level knob. There is your foot switch. You have an in, you have an out, and you have a back plate where you can put a battery if you want, or you can plug it in with power. Not only is this a chrome reflective red, but the knobs are translucent red with chrome on the front and the surround around the badge and the foot switch is also a translucent red plastic. So today we have a couple different examples of how we like to use screamers here at the shop. Um, first, we're gonna hear from Angelo and he's gonna use it in a more traditional way, um, kind of an edge of breakup pushed into an amp to give it that little bit of drive. Um, second, we're gonna use it as a gain stage and third, we're gonna use it as a tone tool to shape our general tone. So first up, we're gonna run the Friedman JJ Jr. mostly clean, um, and we're gonna use the screamer to push it a little bit and uh, get some of those more traditional bluesy rock tones. So here's Angelo. Next up, uh, my personal favorite way of using a overdrive screamer style pedal is at a, as a second gain stage, right? Um, so you'll hear me kind of play with a lower gain and then when I want to beef it up, get it more aggressive, I'll engage the pedal. Mm -hmm. 
Finally, we are going to use the overdrive from the amp and we are going to utilize the limited edition 40th anniversary Tube Screamer TS9 as a tonal tool, right? We're going to use it to kind of sculpt the tone, boost some of those mids that this is great for doing, give it a little bit more hair, give it a little bit more drive, um, but kind of almost like an always on pedal. And here's how that sounds. So overall, you know, you've heard three of the different ways we like to use them at the shop. I mean, we didn't reinvent the wheel. People have been using screamers like this for a very, very long time. It's not an original thought, but that's how we like to use it here at the shop. This thing, as usual, sounds great. It's got that mid hump, which some people like, some people don't. This is not what you call a transparent overdrive, right? This adds some character to it. So Ibanez TS9. This isn't the usual one. This is the limited edition 40th anniversary. It's red, multiple reds and chrome and super shiny and hard to get. Come check it out here at Beaumont Guitars. We'd love to hear what you sound like with the pedal. We'd love to hear your thoughts on how you would use it on your board or in your room. Come on down. Let's have some fun. As always, I've been Nick. You've been awesome. See you in the next video.